Oh man, the end of that, like, I don't, I doubt you could hear it because I could barely hear it, but <laughs> that last video, so like obviously I kind of stopped talking in the last match because like I said, you can, my, my uh, window is faced towards the street and it's quite, it's fairly close to my front door. So you can actually, you know, my room isn't soundproof, you can hear, you know, if like if you're in the yard outside my window, you can hear me talk. And so I was trying to not talk because that dude really wanted to sell me something. He stood out there the, throughout when he when, the moment I said, "Don't ring my doorbell, I'm busy." All the way on, that dude stood there like he was saying hello every so often. And then I walked out there, and he's like, "I would like to present to you the opportunity." No, go away. And that was it. Good use of your time. Uh, so hopefully somebody joins uh, soon. If we get to a minute 30 and nobody joins, and I'll go back to playing matches. I'm just, I'm trying to expand my horizons. I actually should stick to player matches. I actually got some character diversity there. We saw, we saw some Chris. We saw some Obi kind of. So I'm gonna use Felicia actually. Now that I think about it, I like Felicia. Felicia's fun, even though I don't know how to play her. She's still fun. I remember one time I actually played. Uh, I was, I was being a douche. Cause I mean. When you, if you, I don't know how many of you guys go have like a local scene that you can go to. I used to go to mine. It wasn't necessarily local. That's the reason I don't go anymore. It's because it's not really local. Uh, it's pretty much like an hour, anywhere from an hour to like two and a half hour drive away. It's pretty much like my local scene that I used to go to all the time. And, you know, if you go to a local scene, you usually have a tier of players that are above the rest. For me, I had X-Ray, uh, Hi, I'm Nasty, Mine. Uh, there was this dude that actually never goes to tournaments and that pisses me off like he's busy He has a regular job. He doesn't have the time to go to tournaments and it's it, unless they're like really late at night But most of them start in the afternoon and it sucks because he has a god like so he's the best zoner I've ever played He uses who does he use? I think I can't remember if he plays Taskmaster or Hawkeye first if He plays Taskmaster Hawkeye. No, he plays Arthur first actually. It's Arthur Taskmaster Hawkeye And he is very he's an amazing zoner. It took me so long to like understand him and start to get past him, and it sucks that he doesn't get to go out of tournament, out, go out to tournaments, and get more recognition and whatnot. Oops, my bad. I should be going to. But anyway, so that was, and like I, I, I would not necessarily mix me up in there because while I was good enough to, um, while I was good enough to take games off of all of them, I was good enough to sometimes win a set. It was like probably like. 75% of the time they would beat me, 25% of the time I would beat them. So it wasn't like, and I would consider, if I was to be considered on their level, I would have to be, you know, going about 50-50 with them. So I would put myself as like just barely below those people on the list. But then there's all kinds of other people, you know, you have people like me who are like, good, but we don't want to put it necessarily put in the time, like we just don't have that drive to be a top player, we just get to a level where we can compete and have fun and then we just kind of flatline because we're just you know we're not putting in time in training mode learning all the various setups and whatnot and then you have people who like they want to put in the time but they just don't have like the reactions necessary they just don't have like the ability necessary to like read certain situations to read people so they're kind of like they have combos and whatnot but they don't really have a good neutral game but then you have a level below them which are the people that like think they're godlike but get blown up by everybody and then they always blame it on like tears or something you know they always got an excuse for why they're losing and then you got the people that are just there for shits and giggles that like they either join the tournament just to be a pop monster just because you know they want to support the scene they want and they're fine with just you know giving an extra five bucks into the pot or the people that just want to pretty much just go there for casuals and join the tournament for shits and giggles like they're there to get better but at the moment they're not very good that's those are pretty much the types of people you get at locals so it's like, they would always, not necessarily seed us, but they just, they knew, these are the people that are the best in the scene. We don't want them mixing up with each other in the first round. So usually the first round is like a buy, technically, for anybody that's like, decently known. And one time I picked, it was Felicia, did I pick X-23 last or second? It was Felicia Morgan X-23. That was fun. And I got to hit a dirt nap, and I was so excited. Hitting dirt nap is just fun. Why did everybody leave? Like, I was finding matches just fine. And then I go out to confront the douchebag who wouldn't go away. And he drove everybody away. He scared all the fish out of the sea.
I check player map. I mean, I check. I check lobbies. I always first. I always check lobbies to see what's available. But nobody ever. I actually should try to play a little bit of street. Well, not play a little bit of Street Fighter Four, but just pop Street Fighter Four in, and see if it's the same. I never see two-person lobbies. I rarely see three-person lobbies. It's always. I mean, especially here, it's almost always six-person or eight-person lobbies. It's weird. I don't get it. But then, like, you have, um, in Street Fighter Cross Tekken, I'm always on the lookout for a two-player lobby. I am always on the lookout. Never. Maybe, like, once out of about 15 searches. Thank God. Only about once out of maybe, like, 15 or 20 searches of player matches have I ever. God damn it. Fuck it. You took forever to find me playing anyway. Um... It's, it's so rare. I just I don't understand why nobody wants to play. And like I said before, where the hell is Felicia? There she is. Like I said before, even when I make my own, I still I get like I get nobody. Ooh, you know what? I'm a tr oops no no yeah that's the right one. I have I have some theories. I have some theories. <laughs> Should I? Should I? Screw it. Let's do it. This is such a terrible idea. Ah, oh, like I know how to... Okay. We're about to lose. Why zero Frank? That has no synergy. What's the zero has no way to level up Frank. Yeah, there's a coma. Alright, time to be on the lookout for DHC... Or TACs. I waited all this time. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I, I, was, paying I was paying so much attention to Akuma. So yeah, that was probably a bad idea. Oh, it doesn't even matter if he TACs. You mother! Zero's so stupid. Especially online. Yeah, I'm gonna block Zero online. Mm hmm. That was stupid of me. I shouldn't have stood up. This Zero is terrible. Like, Zero doesn't already have bad enough damage. My bad. I'm sitting there saying, I need to look out for TACs, and then I don't look out for TACs. Doesn't even matter because I lost anyway. Like, it's. It's zero online, and I'm playing these characters. I'm totally gonna win this. Nice mix-up. I forgot I used my X-Factor. When did I use... Oh, that's right, because I hit zero with Spencer and then dropped it, because, you know, online didn't work out as I expected it to. Ah, uh, zero. The character that nobody should ever care about playing online. Like, I just... Congratulations, you beat me with zero online. Yay to that. Please find me somebody else. That's not a zero or Virgil or Doom player. Uh, like, you know it's bad. Isn't it backwards? It is backwards. Okay, I just fucked it up. You know it's bad when it's like... I would be... I would be relieved. I would... Don't use zero. Don't use zero and I'll play you. There's no... There's no... Significantly good reason. There is no reason whatsoever to bother playing a zero online. Not a single one. Like, I mean, every... Every character. I... How the hell... I just tried to do... I've been playing too much Street Fighter Cross Tekken. I, well, you can see my inputs. I just tried to do... That's medium kick. And that's what I just tried to do. I just tried to do the medium version of that. Because I'm a scrub. I don't know how to use Ryu. I'm going to just let this dude, like, sit there. Just keep hitting A. I'm going to just let him sit there for a little bit. Let him stew and hitting A a bunch. You're a zero player, you're supposed to hold it down. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I should have gone back to character select to go to any rank.
for those of you that may wonder, how exactly did these characters make it on your list of characters that you just don't want to play against? It is because Zero is just a character that there's no point in playing against him because you cannot block him online. Like, he's already difficult enough to block offline. It's impossible to block him online. And you need split... I mean, granted, that dude Zero's didn't have mix-up. I mean, like, he, all that he did, his mix-up consisted of just using the command dash behind me and then hitting Buster. That was it. That was his mix-up. Uh, I don't even care. But against, like, a good Zero that's constantly moving around, that constantly has assists behind them, that's constantly, um... Um... This dude picked his main team. Fuck it. He's a high lord that ran to his main team. Let us pick ours. Kinda, sorta. Not really. It's as close to a main team as I've got. You know, you just, you need split second timing in order to catch zero. In order to, you know, either air throw him or anti air his pizza cut or whatever. You need split second timing. You do, you cannot do that online. So it's just, it is an entirely, point, it is an exercise of pointlessness to bother trying to play against zero online. And Virgil, I just don't respect anybody that plays that character. Thanks for the... Okay, I see, I see. This, this game's laggy. I get it. I think he feels it, too. Oh, I'm gonna try to do it. I need to kill scroll. I didn't get the tiger knee. Oh, my bad. That was stupid of me. God damn it, energy javelin. I hate my life. That was my fault. Like you should you should not use that. Hit a button. Bitch. Should have X-Factor there, but I didn't what the hell, Hawkeye? Haha. <laughs> oh, that was so godlike of me, too. If I don't say so myself. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. That connection sucked. This video sucked. I'm sorry.